Sculpting the Void, a meeting between the architecture of nature and the architecture of man. The intrinsic relationship between any architectural intervention with its surroundings is fundamental for the execution of an efficient space. The role of the architect involves creating an architecture that can contextualize the space without forgetting its identity. This project is developed in two aspects. In one hand, the design of a natural pool and a jetty, and, in the other hand, the design of a trail to connect those spots through the coastline. Architecture is found in all kinds of nature and each space contains distinct characteristics. The first moment consists in a concrete element that is released from the coastline, thus creating a natural pool. The design comes from an axis of symmetry created from two different points on the rocky slope. This draw seeks a natural and fluid moment. This jetty is a concrete volume that emerges from the rocky area and rips through the sea with the aim of conceiving different sensations and multiple experiences for those who explore it. The jetty emphasizes the natural geography of the ground. It is a body that, seen from the outside, hides its essence, hides its inner organization. This jetty also contains a tunnel that crosses it transversely. This one was designed from the use of light as a resource of architecture. As we walk through it, we are guided by the projected line of light that will dialogue with the sound of the sea, echoing inside the tunnel. The short crossing ends up in an opening facing west, at a higher level, where it is possible to have a unique framing of the city. The design must create spaces, whatever is their purpose, where the touch between the architecture of man and nature is harmonious. To integrate it even more in the Brazilian culture and history, the concrete is pigmented with uracum. When this seed is crushed, we can make ink from it and it is used by the Brazilian indigenous people. Thank you for your attention.